What's up guys, this is your daily Twin Flame Energy Reading. My name is Ashley Gillard and I am happy to bring forth the message from Spirit. This reading was brought to you by my book, The Power of I Am. I highly recommend it. it teaches balance, it teaches masculine and feminine energies, numerology references in there. And it's on Amazon as an ebook. And I have other books on Amazon as well. Just search my name and it'll take you there. Beautiful reading we have today. Masculine and feminine both completing cycles, opening the door and the gateway for partnership, for union, and to come together. If you look at over here in this reading, the Ten of Swords is beneath both of these cards, bringing the forth again, of, and then the Emperor is right under there, bringing forth the energy of completing this cycle and completing a phase of life and then you have another 10 here and if you've watched any of my readings you know that when the 10 is repeatedly in a reading it's amplified bringing forth um intensifying completion intensifying passion intensifying events leading to the end of one cycle and the beginning of another so i'll just begin the reading um overall energy completing cycles new opportunities for masculine and feminine coming together, but an offer being made um, to the, I want to say the offer being made to the feminine only because I resonate with the masculine taking action and the masculine putting in the offer for the feminine because if it was the other way around, the one that resonates with the feminine, it's just the way it works, people. So we have the masculine with an offer towards the feminine as they complete in this cycle and we're still in this energy the feminine is still in this energy of being, you know, we have the moon here, undecided. But with this, it's saying be graceful. Always, when you know, when I pulled this card, I thought about Beyonce. Always stay gracious. Best revenge is your payload. So this is spirit saying, go with the flow. Be gracious. Don't be overzealous. You know, um... Be humble. Remain humble. Regardless of what's happening and, and good things coming together, you spirit is saying remain humble and be gracious. So for the masculine, that may mean calm down. The feminine, you know, don't be overzealous as it pertains to your offer for the feminine. And for the feminine, it could be just remain gracious. Don't be, you know, remain humble in this completion process as things starts to come together for you. First cards we have is Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Celebration, coming together, fulfillment, happiness as it pertains to your family life, as it pertains to this union, as it pertains to home life. It's you and the masculine coming together. It's the divine masculine and feminine coming together. It's happiness and fulfillment in a relationship. It's clarity of thought. It's the masculine being very clear on who he or she wants. Then we have the eight of so the eight of wands and the um ace of swords. This is clarity, quick clarity of thoughts. It's like an aha moment. The masculine is like, I know what I want. I know who is the piece to my puzzle. I know who completes me. I know who will make me happy and I'm ready for happiness and fulfillment with my feminine. I'm ready for partnership with this person that I was destined to be with then we have again so we have the eight of wands coming out twice so whatever is happening is about to happen quick remember leo season if you have watched my readings it was leo season has been preparation for what's to come because it's all gonna come so fast i believe leo season was taking us back so Again, because it did Mercury retrograde and Leo season and Mercury resonates with the magician. So it was like our desires being taken back so that they can be shot forward. And that's how it's going to feel like everything's manifesting at the same time and coming at you at the same time. Because things that's what it was preparing for during Leo season. Anyway, we have the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Hierophant. This is the masculine making an offer to the feminine. A clear offer, a clear decision is made and a hand is, you know, offered. Because he has clarity of thought, he or she, the masculine has clarity of thought, knows what brings some fulfillment and happiness, knows the, the feminine is the person that 
he's destined to be with and wants to be with. It's just not even just about who am I supposed to be with. It's not even obligation anymore. It's fulfillment. It's happiness. It's like, okay, I want to be happy. This person makes me happy. This completes my puzzle. This is the piece to my puzzle. This is the person that I was created to be with and I want her and I want him. You know, I want this, my divine partner. And then this coming together and making an offer towards commitment, a very stable, committed offer towards this person. Hey, I want you. I know that you're the one that was created for me to be with, that I'm destined to be with. You make me happy. You bring me peace. You bring me harmony. And I want to be with you. So the, this energy here, this person is very clear about what they want. This energy here next is a decision. So it's like the masculine comes towards the feminine with a clear offer because he knows what he wants at this point. Remember, the feminine used to know what he or she wanted and the masculine wasn't clear. Now it's like tables have turned and the masculine knows what he or she wants and the feminine is not so sure. It's like what decision or which way should I go? Should I take this offer? What, what is it? Should I? What should I do? And then that's the challenge in this um, story. Because you have the Nine of Wands next. I don't know if you wanted to see these two. Two of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Two, the number of union. Two, the number of union, but separate. You know, one is also a number for union as well, but three as in one. Two is the number of union, but separate. It's like divine masculine and divine feminine coming together is will be the number one. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done with the numerology course. Well, I have a, quite a bit more to do. But anyway, so that's why I keep talking about numerology. It's just really fresh in my head. <laughs> it will be available soon. But anyway, so it's this decision. It's a decision that needs to be made from the feminine because the masculine is ready. Again, that's why... I, Shay only master is saying be graceful and move in movement and action because you need to calm down masculine it's like calm down just relax you know everything is quick 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 you want to move so fast but relax and i wanted to say and i didn't say it, under here is the seven of cups not knowing which cup to take so it's like when everything and everyone comes at you quick don't let it rush you so if you resonate with this as a feminine, don't let someone else's inaction turns into quick action rush you. Because he or she probably had a long time to get their act together and get their mind right. And they took their, these masculines have taken their time. They have not rushed for anyone. So you don't have to rush either. Always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper. So be graceful. Relax. Again, meditate. Um, we have the nine of wands clarified by... The Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles again. Two of Pentacles came out twice. Nine of Wands, Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Ooh, sorry. Spirit is sent, be gracious. This is going to be a challenging decision to make. And make it in peace. Make it in harmony. Meditate. Rest. Allow yourself some time to make this very very important decision when you come together with someone with a serious commitment this is serious commitment this could be marriage this could be something very a serious offer coming from the masculine spirit is saying don't rush and make a decision meditate meditate and and figure out what's best for you focus on what's best for you um but don't rush making this decision there's no need to be no need to rush again the masculine took his or her time Take your time, and not out of vengeance, but knowing that this is an important decision that affects your life, and it shouldn't be made like this. Even if things are moving very quickly, even if this masculine energy wants to move this quick, because he knows what he wants. He knows what he wants at this point. He knows what brings him fulfillment and happiness, and he he's ready. But regardless of what someone else's, his energy may be in the ready, if yours isn't, slow it down. And it's not even about not being ready. It's about... Being very careful in your decision making, meditating, staying in the flow of spirit, knowing that what you, you know, if you could have a family, you, it's so many things that would affect your life when you come together with this, you know, energy, this person, the masculine. So spirit is saying, be graceful, be gracious. Don't rush. Stay calm. Keep your cool. Figure out what's best for you. Sleep on it. 
You don't have to rush. It is not a rush. It's a marathon, not a race. Well, I had to tell somebody that the other day that tried to talk to me. Well, you know, he's, he, I don't know, he was talking to me like I almost was like entitled to him. I'm not entitled to any, you're, nobody is entitled to me. And so anyway, I was like, it's a marathon, not a race. You know, if it's meant to be, it will be. But I'm not fin you know, I'm focused on what I'm focused on right now. That's what you should say too. I'm, you know, it's a marathon, not a race. Let me take this in, sleep on it, and make a decision. An informed decision that's in alignment with my mind, body, and spirit. Ain't nobody got time to be rushing because now all of a sudden you want me to jump when you say how high? Forget all that. Don't don't do that. You don't have to jump when he said, you don't have to say how high when he says jump or whoever this is, he or she. Take your time and make the decision that's best for you. Anyway, rant over. Yeah, this offer being made. Finally, an offer that's stable. It, it, it's a good offer, but it doesn't matter that it's a good offer. That doesn't mean that you just take it like that. You still think about it. You focus on what's best for you. Anyway, coming coming back to the speed, we have these three cards that wanted to come out as well. Knight of Swords. Quick, 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 fiery. Um, well, just really quick, really quick. Fighting for what you want until you get it. Justice. Two of Cups. This is marriage. No. I want to say no cap. I was saying no cap so much the other day at the smoothie place. And the girl wanted to laugh so bad. I don't know where it came from. I probably just wanted to say it. But anyway, Knight of Swords with Justice and Two of Cups. This is a very, this is marriage. Like, this is marriage. This, when I say justice, I think justice of the peace. Knight of Swords fighting for you until he or she gets an answer and gets what they want and they come together as one. Somebody is trying to get married really quickly maybe they finally see how special you are maybe they finally see how good you are uh and they do because you see this very quick aha moment that happens here with this eight of wands and this ace of swords there's this aha moment but like i really like her or him i really want to be with this person this person brings me fulfillment and happiness i'm ready to take it to the next level this is, and when I see this Three of Cups, I'm not getting third party, party situation. No, I'm getting happiness, celebration, fulfillment, and, and a quick decision is made. A very firm offer. The Ace of Pentacles, firm offer. King of Swords, clarity, clear decision. The Hierophant, solid commitment. Um, the Justice card, I think Court, Justice of the Peace. Again, these are all attuning to... A very, very, very firm offer. A very, very stable, secure offer that's firm to a point where you shouldn't make a rush decision as it pertains to that. This sounds like somebody trying to elope or something. Or what they want to do is so fast. Not even giving you... you there's no planning in this. Like, if you say yes to a, to getting married, you know, that quickly as this person... Eight of Wands came twice. They're trying to move fast. And the Knight of Swords. That's... That's real fast. Blink of an eye fast. They want to move at the speed of light for something so sound and committed. That don't sound right. That's like a car artist when they want you to do something. I'm not saying this person is trying to con you, but I'm just saying like when a con artist wants you to do something, they talk really fast. But slow it down. Just slow it down. Slow it down to make sure you're protecting yourself. And then you're doing what's best for your life. So I got, I just grabbed the soulmate manifest. And I just want to see if it's a soulmate message that, you know, from, I don't use these often, these little messages. I want to see what message comes out with this reading because uh, this is a clear message of an offer being made. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Interesting. Be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance. Life is art. Oh, that's beautiful. Enjoy the moment. 
enjoy the process enjoy the change enjoy the cycles completing do it slowly what is this Ooh. <laughs> see spirit we you know this masculine is already encouraged i don't feel like the masculine needs any more courage than what's already presented here but it's saying your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them oh yeah definitely some courage definitely some courage um occurring in this reading definitely effort it says in the end you tried and sometimes that's enough definitely courage and effort from the masculine but with the feminine is saying you know be graceful be a rainbow in someone else's life you know enjoy the moment Paint your dreams, sing your songs, dance, life is art. Enjoy the process, enjoy the moment, enjoy the change, enjoy the cycle of completion, enjoy the tables turning. No need to be vengeful, no need to be rushed. It's no rush, enjoy the dance. Dance slowly. I'm not telling you what to do, but you know, whenever someone is trying to force you to make a quick decision, always, and I don't like to use the word always, but for the most part, think about it first. Meditate on it first. Instead of being impulsive, you know, a lot of our problems and a lot of life problems is from impulsiveness and a lack of patience. If people would just have more patience, if people, you know, it, a lot of things would end. So just relax. Enjoy the dance. Enjoy the process. And um, when this masculine comes with this offer, it's not a con. I don't think the offer is a con. I just really feel like this masculine energy is very sure about what he wants. And I am so sorry. I did not give you guys these oracle cards that are full as well. It says, dream and journey. Drum. Drop your shields. Protection guardian. Dream and draw and journey. Protect your drop your shields. Honor your inner knowing. Medicine mother. And trust in the unknown. Father side. The what I'm getting from this is adding to this reading is that divine intervention is at play. Divine influence is at play. It's leading you towards completion of this journey. And that and the ending is the beginning. It's like the ending of one phase and the beginning of another. You don't have to be cautious. That's why I kept saying it's not a con. Even though I use that, you know, um, comparison, you know, I contrasted it. But it's not something that you should be afraid of. It's not something to fear. You don't have to be guarded. It's a part of the process. It's a part of the journey. Trust in the unknown. And what, what, what they mean by that is, again, trust in your inner know, knowing. Trust in what you feel to be true in your heart. When this offer comes in and something comes in and it's, it doesn't seem right with you, trust in your spirit. Trust what your spirit has to say about the situation or, or what's happening. Trust your heart. Trust your your spirit, your feminine energy. Trust your connection to spirit to know that this doesn't sound right. But when it but what I'm getting from drop your shoes is you're protected. You're so protected that you don't have to worry about making the wrong decision because the decision you make is the right one. This masculine is not trying to harm you. The masculine actually wants to love you. It's like, it's this is no negative, this is all positive vibes and energy here. This is an offer from the heart. This is an offer that a lot of cups in here. It's the offer that he or she is very clear about. They have clarity of thought. They know they want you. So it's not to hurt you. This offer is not to hurt you this hi hi this is hi but this is ada iota and this is my aka chapter that i crossed columbus state university spring 2012.
different. I just put my shirt on today. I should work out in it. Anyway, this is a firm offer and it's coming from the heart. It's up to you to, you know, stay balanced, think about it, and make the right decision that's best for you. Trust in yourself to make the right decision for your life. Whatever decision you make is the right one. I wish you love, light, and more life. I ask that you guys please like, subscribe, and comment. It would mean the most to me. I am fighting energetic battles, and I need all the positive energy and vibes I can. Like, subscribe, comment, show your love. I wish you more light and more life. Peace. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.